What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of the Project Zomboid. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. We actually need to get rid of all these zombies that are around our house. Additionally, we need to go inside and figure out where this other zombie's at. And this is going to be a tad precarious. There it is right there. Okay, so... So they don't die inside, what I would recommend is let's bring them outside. We'll kill them in the yard real fast and then we'll strip them for parts. And we will continue this adventure. What, you don't strip your zombies for parts? Well, fine then. I strip them for parts. I treat this thing like Skyrim. If there's not a bunch of naked bodies laying around, I'm not happy. There's another dead one right there. And you know that's not true because you can see all the bodies fully clothed around here. I know there's another one in here. There was two. There was two. Where did it go? Oh, shit. There's a whole bunch over here. Hey, get up off my window, you dicks. That's my window right there. Why are they trying to break into my house? Like, the gunshot went off to the right side of my house. It's a little bit of a frustration to me. There's another one bites the dust. Luckily, we've got a hammer right now, which makes this very, very easy. It's a great implement for zombie destruction. It's a good one for the don- Oh, we've got a skirt right there. Do you want to wear a skirt for a while? Does the skirt actually look like a skirt? It doth. Well, that'll help us keep cool. We got kind of like a Mowgli thing going on right now. It actually looks like the skirt is not actually a skirt. Like, it looks like Aladdin pants, doesn't it? I don't know. We've got our hammer pants on now. That works for me. Okay, so we've cleared the zombies out of our house. Is that window broken right there? The window is not broken. This window, super broken. So we're going to have to figure out a way to fix that. We are. Well, we can make a barricade, as I recall, a lamp on a pillar. What is that, just like a flashlight duct tape to the top of a... Alright, so anyways. We need to... There used to be... How odd. Maybe that's what I know at my level. Well, there used to be a barricade option where you could barricade up the windows. I think it's probably still around somewhere. We'll just have to track it down and find it before we can go any further. I think there's a bunch of Zeds over here. And I think a really, really good way to spend our time is going to be to run them off. And so that's what I'm going to do. Except I'm not going to run them off by avoiding them. I'm going to murder them in the face with a hammer. Yeah, I thought that one might not be completely done. Okay, so these all look like they're really, really slow zombies. And that's not to talk about their intellectual acumen too aggressively. I'm pretty sure that bite should have counted. I think if we just kind of backpedal... We can make this whole thing happen, so long as there's not any really extra speedy ones in the group. That's always where things get rowdy, is when they're different speeds, or... Oop, I don't know if I got that one right there. I don't think that I did. Yeah, she got up pretty quickly. But the goal here is at least to back up, so that if I, if I have to diff... I, I could talk right now, I swear. I will get these words out of my mouth if it kills everybody on the block. Anyways, I never, I never understood people like, I'm gonna get this done if it kills me. Mm, why not just pin it on the other guy? Like, I am gonna get this done if it kills you. Like, <laughs> oh my god, anyways, what was I saying, oh yeah, so even if I have to disengage and run away, the nice thing about this whole thing is at least they'll be led away from my house, kinda, so there it is, we'll have this nice little landing strip of zombies to destroy here, I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten winded either, like I really expected to be winded by now. We're doing a lot of brutalization. We're taking care of a lot of enemies. There we go. Another one bites the dust. But a dump, dump, dump. The zombies are so ugly. They definitely have no alibi. When asked to provide an alibi to the court, they had none. Let's see here. There's a comb, just in case you want to keep it. Ooh, a big hiking bag. Equi yep, equip that on my back there, sir. I think the hammer might be one of the best weapons in the game because I can have a tote bag with it, which is pretty sweet. Although if I keep using it, it's going to break. It looks like the condition goes down really slowly though, so that was actually deemed worth it due to the fact that we actually got some new goodies out of it. Let me kill you off real fast. How dare you run up on me? Yeah, I think positioning yourself over the zombie's head makes them die quicker. I don't know how I never noticed that before, but apparently after bajillions of hours of playthroughs over the course of the last year or so, I never noticed that. So our house has become significantly more bloodied. I sleep in this room anyway, so it's not that big of a deal that they overrun our house. But that should... Let's eat a cake slice. Hell yeah, who doesn't love cake? I love cake. Cake is delicious. Sometimes I just go to the supermarket, and you know how they have those depressing... Who, oh my god, sometimes they have those depressing... Like, they really... I'm glad that it's not me. But anyways, they have these depressing pieces of cake 
for people that I guess just celebrate their birthday alone or something. I don't know. If I could celebrate a birthday for every single one of you, I totally would. I like partying. Let's have a party every single day. I'll supply the kegs, whatever you guys want. If you don't have anybody to come to your birthday party, you and I can just get shit-faced. I don't know. It'll work either way. I enjoy it all. Still, they have these depressing... I don't... I guess they must sell, but they have these pieces of cake that say happy, they say happy birthday on them, but it's like one piece of cake, like off of a cake that they had at the bakery, and it's just like you just buy yourself a piece of birthday cake or so. I buy them all the time when it's not my birthday because I'm a garbage gut and I love food. That's how we make that work right there, but I hate speedy zombies. Speedy zombies upset me. They really are just a hassle to be dealt with. There's got to be, like, a better way for me to line up on this hammer, too. There you go. You fall down. We all fall down. You're going to fall down a little sooner, though, because I dislike you. And I'm going to strike you in your head until you fall down. Or oh, my name ain't called Nut Collins. She's kind of... I don't know. She's losing it right now. She's got, like, a little diatribe thing going on. <laughs> I like how he rotated. That was pretty cool. They should add that as a real animation where when you hit stuff, I think that was more of just like the perspective being weird. But they should consider doing that where sometimes when you hit the zombies, they spin slightly with their little representative. Like, I, I liked that. It made it look more realistic. It looked like I clocked him in the side of the head so hard that he rotated. He couldn't keep himself all nice and evened out. I think, I don't know what block looks safer, but this place over here looks wealthy. And so I think it's the best plan for right now. Can you hop the big fence? I could hop that fence. I'd be over that fence in like five minutes. That's because I used to play Mission when I was a kid. You guys have never played Mission. So what Mission is essentially it's just dare. It's not truth or dare. It's just dare. Like you go out at like midnight and you have all black clothes on. Some people would call it casual childlike burglary. But I call it Mission. And your friends dare you to do stuff. And one of the things I got dared to do is we look. Sucks to be that lady. That lady just got dominated. There are a lot of zombies around here. I hope this fence doesn't go all the way through. And if it does, I was going to say, because going around the corner right there did not seem like a plan that was really going to work out for me. A couple of Zeds down here, including one of the speedy ones. I was going to try and get the speedy one dealt with before yeah, it got back up. Because that's what happens right there. They get stuck on each other back to back like that and when they get stuck on each other when you hit the one in the front the one in the back runs up and bites you and so they need to make it so maybe they can clip through each other slightly so that, that doesn't happen but basically it makes whenever they get locked in that position right there I just know mentally do not hit the one in the front no matter how badass you think you are it's not gonna work you've tried this about 150 times now I'm telling you it's not gonna work all of your research up to this point dictates to you oh my god I don't even know how that missed Come on. Alright, so you've been knocked down. You've been knocked down. Is that both of them? That one totally did the death animation. Oh, that's disappointing. I am so disappointed in you right now, zombie. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Come on. It's like when you're trying to line up that perfect hit and you just can't get it there. There it is. Down they go. I don't want to kill every zombie on the block. However, sometimes that works out pretty well and you end up with like bags and bags and bags full of stuff. Like I've killed all the zombies on an entire like street corner before and there's probably 30 or 40 of them. It took me probably an hour to clear them all out just like kiting around and hitting them with nail bats. But at the end I ended up with like three axes, two baseball bats, a shitload of ammunition. It was actually worthwhile if you want to spend the time to do it. I'm a violent person by nature. Some people like to avoid the zombies. I enjoy just murking the hell out of them. I don't know. It's the enemy that never gets old to kill. Everybody loves killing a zombie. Okay, so there's a big-ass crowd over there. So, this could go up Shitty Creek very, very fast. However, I think this garage is the first place I want to look for nails so that I can make a nail bat. Come on. I believe. Open the window. I totally believe, can you do it, I mean, uh, let's see, oh well, open that one then, burglar alarm, we've got a fence on this side, remember that, so that's actually a trapping mechanism for us, these bigger houses can be problematic, simply based on the fact that there's a lot of rooms we gotta clear, 
Open the door, let them come to us if they're gonna. Lipstick, can I use it? There's a mirror too. I assume that a mirror is one of those pieces of junk that like you don't think you need it until you need it and you're trying to build something important. And then once you start building the important thing, you're like, oh shit, I should have kept all those mirrors that I saw when I was running around. That's what I'm gonna estimate right now. So back inside, oh, carpentry for beginners. Yeah, that'll help out. Let's go ahead and fill that in. I don't know if the recipes that you have now are dictated by your skill level. Before, the carpentry skill level just dictated how quickly and quietly you could do things. But now, I don't know if that's changed. So upstairs, curtain. No, don't smash the window. Oh my god, I almost clicked the wrong thing. Can I take that off the wall right there? I can't. Okay, well, what can we get out of here? We got a candle. I'll take that for sure. That right there, that's my colored blouse. So we're going to take that one. If I was a lady, that's the colored blouse that I would wear. The reason I know that, because I already have that colored shirt right now at my house. In fact, I think I've worn it on streams before. Very rich purple color. I enjoy it. It makes me feel kingly. Makes me happy. Got some sleeping tabs right there, for sure, just in case we're going to keep tabs on some sheep. Anything in that closet? I hate these closets. They always make me hella nervous. Adhesive tape. Probably be able to use that later on. Probably. I use adhesive tape for all kinds of stuff, so it might be one of those multi-purpose items that we want to have around. Nothing inside either of these. Can we open up a desk? My god, it's dark in here. I may just spend the night here if their fridge is stocked. Might be easier. Toothpaste, tweezers. I don't know how useful tweezers are going to be. I don't know if you get shot with buckshot or something like that. If you need the tweezers to clear it on out, I'll take it for right now. I've heard that when you get shot by bullets and stuff, you actually have to extract the bullet and whatnot now. What does a toothbrush do for you? Can you make it into like a prison shiv or like how does that work out? Probably not so well for us, but still. Let's maybe crash out. Can we sleep in that chair? We can. Okay, we're not tired yet. So let's go downstairs. I want you to know that I don't enjoy being zoomed in like this. It looked like there was curtains on that window. Or is it just me? Must have been just me. Well, if we got sheets, let's go ahead and use those real quick. The reason I like this location is because it's got two stories. That's like anything that's got multiple stories makes me happy because I love story time. Close the curtains right there. Oh, mom, can you tell one more story? And then we'll add a sheet over here. I don't think they can see through that right there. I would suggest that we turn the lights out just in case. I don't see a Zed right there. What door is getting banged on? I really don't feel comfortable about sleeping until we get that taken care of. I'm just going to eat the bread out of the fridge real fast. We'll eat an entire bread loaf because that's exactly the sort of carbohydrate, mo or the carbohydrate monster that I am. I almost said carbohydrate monster that I am, but a carbohydrate monster. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That sounds. A was that mayonnaise right there? Mmm, I love mayonnaise. Mayonnaise making me happy. Corn nut like the mayonnaise all over the sandwich. Drizzle it. Drizzle it till it's dripping. I actually really like to, I like to combine the mayonnaise and the mustard on top of the sandwich. That's what I prefer. And then you get some real strong purple onions, like the real dankity dank of onions. Like the, the ones that are there to be real. The ones that stink up your breath and your fingers for the rest of the day if you pick them up. Those are the onions you want to get. And if the onions don't have potency like that, I, they just aren't real onions in my mind. I apologize, but they just don't work like that. Although I will say, Maui onions and French onions are very, very like sweet, and I enjoy those too. Maui onions and French onions actually taste kind of the same to me. But then again, maybe I have an undistinguished or an indistinguished, or I don't know. Maybe I have the, the uh, I don't even know what to call them, the taste buds of a pleb. There we go. That's, see, there it is. I knew I would bring it home eventually. Just gotta like stick it out. Eventually it'll work. Same rule for fishing and other things. I would love for you to get that open. Alright. Or don't get it open. You know, I'll kill this zombie first. It's all good. Here. Just let me bludgeon you. I should really, really focus on going around to the head side of the zombie. I just don't want you to break this window because it's going to make hella noise. Wow, that window is just not doing it. Okay. What about this one? Can I get better at burglary? That needs to be a new skill set. Burglary. How good are you at it? We also need to level up our blunt one more time. Alright, so if they're in here... 
one can reasonably assume here if I run right here will they get I need their attention Oh no, where did you come from? I don't even know where she came from. She came out of nowhere like lightning. Yeah, I'm not so sure that, okay, so let's take her back through the brush over here to the safe zone that we cleared out. I'm gonna be doing a lot of zombie killing, so if you don't like to see that from your series, I apologize, but every neighborhood that I leave behind with undead inside of it, I feel like a giant failure, so we gotta clear them out. I'm a paladin, that's how I do this thing. I'm a wasteland paladin. We've got pants, we got shoes. Okay, so that's fine. Ooh, a new vest. Hell yeah, I'm gonna accessorize that. Why wouldn't I? Put that thing on. See, it's not the same color in the picture. Now I'm disappointed. My wardrobe feels weaker for this. Oh well. I like the color purple. That's all that matters right now. So now that we're looking classy, ready to wipe out some Zeds. So it must have been that zombie that was right there. Got a zombie right there who's trying to get through that door, but I think if I could take him out, I just don't want that one in there to break that window. Because if that one breaks that window, we are super hosed. That one's got a key. Supposedly it turns yellow when you mouse across it. Oh yeah, it does. There it is right there. That's kind of cool. Alright, other zombie. It is time for our final battle with a hammer. This is my battle hammer, and I hammer you with it. Alright, so now that she's checked the tip of our hammer for errors and asperities, I feel like we've earned this building, so we might as well get it done right now. I'm gonna drink out it. Oh, shit balls. Close the window real fast, just in case. I don't know where that's gonna push the horde to. But there were a lot of Zeds outside. So one might assume that if we lay low, it looks like they're going to go off to the right-hand side of the neighborhood. I'm okay with that. I'm down. Kitchen knife, some chips. Work on my relocation effort here. Just hold real still. I think they're like T-Rexes. They don't see movement so good. And so we'll move this over to here. Yep, we need all these water receptacles. Yep, yep. Grab that right there, got the dry ramen noodles, the yeast, okay. Grab everything from inside of there. Yep, just throw that meat bag right up in the duffel bag. Don't put it in any sort of wrapper or anything. Just put it in the duffel, it'll be alright. The big hiking bag only has 15 now, huh? That's troublesome. Whatever this disorganized perk is that we took, it's actually a lot worse than I expected. Luckily, we don't have to move that far for all these random things that we're doing still. You got an entire bookcase for one magazine? Do you really read so infrequently? It's a little sad. A little sad. I don't know. Since there were zombies in the rest of the house, it's a good idea to act as though there's zombies all over this side of the house, too. Just be careful about it. Some loose rounds up in here. How are we looking on our overall weight? We're looking good. Another baseball bat will take. Another golf club will take. Yes, please. The belt? I don't know if that's actually useful for anything other than Tannenem hides. Nope, not going to have that happen again. Nope. We solve this now. Well, okay, we solve this in a second, but you get what I mean. I really hate fighting top to bottom like that, but sometimes it's necessary based on, like, the area you're enclosed in. Our enclosure for combat is subpar. We still haven't found an axe or anything, which is... Unfortunately, I guess none of these zombies had an axe to grind. I wish that they did, though. Believe me when I say I wish that they did. Got another couple sheets in here. I think we needed a couple more sheets. I think there was like two windows in this house next door that we hadn't hit up. And since we're using that as kind of like our HQ, I guess. Actually, no. We're running this all back home to base, aren't we? I don't know. I like the two-story houses a lot better. They feel safer to me. They feel a lot safer, so... Got a golf club right there, although that's not super important. The baseball bat, however, is. Is that full up? That's full up. Okay, we can come back. Let's run this stuff next door. Got one more right there. I always forget where the stairs are. You remember in this game when you could fall downstairs? I remember that. It was a real thing, and it was concerning, and it was upsetting when it happened to you. 
It was funny when it happened to other people on camera, but when it happened to you, it was miserable. You used to be able to fall through the stairs and it would kill you instantly or like break your spine and stuff like that. This game had lots of like weird daisy type bugs where you'd be like walking through a tree and you'd just spontaneously die and you'd be like, oh man, that was lame. Alright, so we got that right there. Let's unload everything from our bag and our central repository here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to make all this work, but we will make it work. Of that, I can assure you. Let's see, only food up in here, because the refrigerator and other objects don't go in refrigerators. Take that right there, there we go, and then we're going to have to get a junk drawer. Is the candle, if we have a lighter, can we light the candle? Like, how does that work? See, these people got the snacky foods. We got matches, too. Okay. Well, we'll call the one under the sink the junk drawer, because that's what it is at my house. We'll go over here, we'll throw in the candles, we got all that kind of stuff. Lighter, absolutely. Tweezers, sure. We know that we don't have to- I got one of those weird things. You ever notice how, like, something will end up in your mouth and you have no idea how it got there? <laughs> Anyways, I just had, like, some weird, like, piece of detritus in my mouth and it just showed up. It's probably been sitting in my mouth for, like, a day and a half now, like, wedged in between a tooth or something. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird and it's gross, and I had to stop in the middle of an episode to handle it. It was like many whelps, but many... I don't know, what starts with W that means detritus? Hmm. I got nothing. I got nothing. So, junk drawer. You've been taken care of. There's no hunting knife in here, unfortunately. The hunting knife trick's pretty cool. We tried that out in the previous episodes, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It worked out well. Cans of corned beef. This house is really well stocked. I'm actually pleased with the amount of stuff that's in here. Both useful and supplementary. This place has all kinds of goodies. So let's throw the remainder of these in here. I don't know why I'm hearing the sound of a clock, but it's weirding me out and I don't like it. Now that we've got that, we need a water drawer. So we'll fill our water bottle right there. This one right here. We'll clear everything else out. That's going to make us overweight, but that's okay because I don't mind. I'm going to break the episode off right here a little bit early so that I can organize inventories because I think it's boring as shit and you guys probably don't want to see it. I will see you all in the next episode. This has been Project Zomboid. I will see you in the next iteration. Hi-do, everybody.